So here we are in London at Sotheby's and today is the huge auction of the George Daniels collection and I'm speaking with Roger Smith today. Would you please like to tell us a little bit about the auction today? Well this is a chance in a lifetime. I mean it's uh, this collection here is George's personal collection. Uh, why he kept many of the pieces well that's gone with him now. But uh, it really is um, a chance in a lifetime opportunity to get a real piece of George. You know, whether it's through his completely handmade watches or whether it's through some of his incredible the vintage pieces which are here for sale today. Yeah, which reminds me, I saw earlier there were four Breguet pocket watches, but I was told that there used to be more in the collection. What happened to the rest? Um, they were all sold many years ago. I mean, when I first met George when I was 19, I remember going down into the basement of his house, the vault door was open, <laughs> and there were huge numbers of watches and clocks there. And basically, George collected these over a number of years, and then they were dispersed. And uh, I think they're all can be seen in his books, you know, like watches and so on. So, yeah. So here we have the top lot with us, the Space Traveler. Can you tell us a a little bit about it? Uh, yes, certainly. I mean, this watch um, <clears throat> for me is probably one of the <clears throat> most personal watches. Uh, this was the very first watch that I saw uh, when I was at college in Manchester when I was 17 years old and I asked George what was the end of, on the end of this pocket watch chain and out came this watch and um, what an astonishing watch it is. It's, um, I mean, I think really what's so unique about all of George's work is the fact that Everything he created was through his own skill and ingenuity. George didn't need a valid issue, he just walked into his workshop and made this watch. And that's what's so unique about all of George's pieces and his approach to watchmaking. And each one that he made is unique. Yeah. How many pocket watches did he make during his life? Um, I think, um, off memory, it's about 23 or 4 pieces. And um, this piece is a one-off. Um, here today there's... Um, uh, one of the retrograde hour watches which is a real signature piece for me very simple very elegant but it has all the key daniels styling features within it and just an extraordinarily beautiful watch this is the anniversary watch i believe that you created it is uh, together with george would you like to tell us a little bit about that of course uh, yes i mean this watch um george asked me to uh, he approached me in 2009 with the uh, he always wanted his own production wristwatch. We uh, created the Millennium Series which relied on uh, the ETA movements to celebrate the uh, invention of the, and the industrialization of George's coaxial scammers. But he always wanted his own in-house mechanism and um, started work in late 2009 working on the prototype and the styling and um, this is a prototype piece that um, we completed uh, it's just about three weeks before George passed away and um, fortunately he saw it and uh, gave me the okay on it and just last week we delivered the very first piece so it's been a huge project getting to this stage but when we, because we're making everything in house yes. with that check section to the uh, balance spring and mainspring and so on and the jewels it's a huge undertaking to design a completely new english and daniels caliber so it's a very important watch it's the last watch that george designed and um, yeah very 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 nice to be delivering <laughs>